Matthew, a uh, bit of a big day for you. You've committed to the club for another year. I'm sure uh, you're glad to get that hurdle over the over the hill now for the new season coming up. Uh, not too far away. Obviously, the season just finished. There, you've had a fantastic season with the boys. Kind of coming up second, in the overall top goal scorers. Even though your season didn't start till October, but I'm sure you're glad now to get that uh, out of the way and obviously now focus towards pre-season. Yeah, definitely. No, it's uh, again once the season finishes, you're just wanting sort of we were at downtime, but I, I knew in my own head that. The, what, what I wanted for next season. We'll finish the season really, really strong. Every All the players, uh, backroom staff, the, the, the club, we're, we're all moving in the right direction. And, yeah. and to be honest, it's a, it's going to be an exciting time. So I thought um, there's no better place to be playing with football, especially for next year. Was it an easy decision for yourself? Obviously, with your, you seem happy here. Obviously, we spoke to you a couple of times last season. You seem very, very happy here. I mean, was it an easy decision for yourself? Yeah, it was, in fairness. Um, you know, I'm well thought of the club, and I, I th- think I will the club too. I'm well looked after, as is everybody else. My family love coming down here. To watch uh, to watch me play, um, you know, it's it's my second home, um, mm. and to be fair, it's it's hard to, to walk away a uh, walk away from a place like this. Um, again, back on the pitch playing football again, and things are looking up, so I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, I mean, obviously, been here through the good times and obviously the bad times, especially with the bad times yourself. Obviously, with your knee injury and stuff, been out for two years, and obviously the boys here have helped you get back on the on the road again. You made your debut back there in October again. So obviously, we spoke to you a couple of times, as said there, but everything's cool. seemed to be getting from strength to strength. Obviously, you're finding in it most weeks as well, a couple of hat tricks as well. So, was that sort of like a leaning factor towards obviously staying? Yeah, well, definitely. Um, you know, you're a big. Paul's, Paul's told me I'm a big part of the plans here. Um, and as a player, you want to be playing football. This is a great club, facilities wise. We're, you know, second to none. Um, we're going to be challenging. All, all being well, we're going to be challenging for the league next year. Um, and, and that's exactly what you want to be playing for. Yeah. Um, as a footballer, you want to look back in your your career and say that we won this, or and especially it's a it's a massive car for the club, especially never being in the Premiership before. Mm-hmm. So so having that on your record, being one of the first players to get the yeah. the, the Willers the Premiership. But you know, it, nah, at the end of the day, it was still a lot of work to what to do, like, but playing here uh, at what, what's what's achievable and um, where we're going we're definitely going the right direction and I really do think it's the best place for me to play in football yeah, man, I had a big season last season on stats from whenever Paul came in yeah. you look at the stats I mean we would have been champions the way our, our, our form was I mean we had a great season great run since Paul obviously came in mm-hmm. since the change happened in early September October we had a great run in the Irish Cup we had a great run obviously in the league we just missed out in the top six obviously was your goal was yeah. disallowed that day and it was a heartbreaking moment for you but it, it's a, it's all positives going forward. Would you agree with that? Because I mean, what Paul's and his backroom teams brought into the squad over the last eight months has been incredible. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for where we were at the start of the year, and um, obviously you get yourself in the rut. That's hard to get Boys showed massive character, and Paul coming in and just obviously putting us in the right direction, making sure we're you know putting us in the right positions and uh, and probably training helped a lot too. Uh, you know, understand their play a wee bit more. Um, and the, the results then took care of itself once we got ourselves a wee bit of confidence and belief mm-hmm. um, then it, obviously the, the, the results took care of itself as well um, we kicked on really really well around Christmas time and and, and thankfully the, the form carried through right up until yeah. the sort of until the split now we tailed off a wee bit and in the end of the split obviously it was a bit of a hangover of us mm-hmm. not making top six but we finished all uh, really really strong especially at home and you know we're all good markers and good positives going into the new year when you use the experience from last season as more fuel for yourself especially going forward in the next season because obviously you were scoring goals for fun some weeks but that be more of a fuel for you next season to get that top goals but plus most importantly get the club up where you believe and obviously we all believe where the club should be now yeah absolutely at the end of the day you never um you never settle for for last seasons, um, you only excuse your last game, and especially when the new season kicks off. Nobody remembers last season; it's all about the new season. And yeah. I just want to kick on and give it, give my team, my teammates, a club as best as I can. If I, if I can beat twenty six goals next season, then absolutely happy days. Um, I want to improve my all round game. You know, pitch in, help out with assists, work great off the ball, holding the ball off for my teammates. Um, as long as my my uh, performances are contributing to the team and putting us up the uh, up the league, and hopefully maybe be challenging for promotion next year that's that's me and goal have you any sort of main targets for yourself for next season have you set yourself a goal next season that's already obviously do better but i mean any particular ones and, and obviously particular personal gain or anything else you want to do for next season for yourself well i always try and stay injury free last me and johnny set a target there last season was um try and get as many games as possible and since i came back it was available for every game and i think i played every game mm. uh, as well as pitching on my, 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 my goals um i would like to just obviously better that from next year i always want to be getting better um as i think i speak for for every footballer, I'm going to talk about that. Uh, for next season, it's it's going to be 
be better than last season. Yeah. And that's personal level and as a team level. I think everybody's collectively looking to better themselves as well as your team performances. Mm. And finally, I mean, you obviously had a, a gold machine beside you, Michael. Obviously, you and him have start, started to click there towards the end yeah. of the season. We spoke to you before the Irish Cup game. People want used to the click, obviously, with injuries and things like that there. It's a great partner to have. And obviously, was he part of your decision to come back as well? Because obviously, Michael and you sort of run off each other. And it's been great to watch the two years. Obviously, create chances and score goals and all as well. It's obviously a great partner to have. Yeah, I've, I've, I've waited on my career to, to have a partner like Michael. And <laughs> I, I, hopefully, Michael speaks, speaks like that about me too. Mm. Um, absolutely a joy to play with. He, very unselfish in, in his play ever since I came back up playing with him. Um, I think he, I help him just as much as he helps me. Um, we've been a, a great partnership and to be honest uh, I think it's only going to get better with the two of us. Um, I think for, <laughs> again we, we joke about he gave me plenty of assists last, last year and yeah. but again that's what a partnership's all about. You help each other through it um, and to be honest he, he is a, a, he's a fantastic player for the team. He works his, he, and his work rate's been ma- massive yeah, massively improved over the last year or so. Um, no, really looking forward to to get him back playing with Michael again and obviously everybody at the club's a massive input to, to me staying in them but obviously having a strike partner like Michael it makes, makes your decision easier too. Well good luck for the season anyway and uh, we'll see you back in that number 9 shirt again and hopefully scoring another 20 plus goals next season. Well thankfully mate, uh, thankfully I'm here for, for next season hopefully uh, I'm hitting the, the markers that everybody expects. 